Imagine going to the doctor for a leg cramp only to discover that you are missing almost all of your brain. That's exactly what happened to a 44 year old man in France and his case is changing everything we know about the human mind. When doctors ran a routine brain scan, they found that his skull was almost entirely filled with fluid, with only a thin outer layer of brain tissue left. This condition, called hydrocephalus, had slowly eroded nearly 90% of his brain over three decades. Yet, against all odds, he had a completely normal life. He was working as a civil servant, raising two kids and navigating everyday life just fine. His IQ was slightly below average at 8 but he was still fully functional and socially aware, leaving scientists around the world scratching their heads. So what is hydrocephalus? Well, it is sometimes called the water on the brain. It is a condition where fluid builds up in the brain's cavities, putting pressure on the brain tissue. In this man's case, doctors had diagnosed it when he was a baby, placing a tube in his brain to drain the fluid. But when the shunt was removed at the age of 14, fluid started building up again, slowly eating away his brain. Remarkably, this massive loss of brain tissue did not stop him from living a typical life. So how is this even possible? Well, scientists believe that consciousness, the thing that makes you aware of yourself and the world around you, depends on specific regions of the brain. But here's the kicker, if these reasons are essential, how is this man aware? functional and even thriving with such little brain matter. Axel Clearmans, a cognitive psychologist from Belgium, has been fascinated by this case for years. He said, any theory of consciousness has to explain why someone missing 90% of his neurons still behaves normally. This case challenges the very idea that consciousness depends on particular parts of the brain. Instead, it hints that our brain may be able to learn consciousness in ways that we do not fully understand. Clearmans has proposed a new theory that could explain this mystery. He suggests that consciousness might not be tied to a particular area of the brain. Instead, he believes that brain may have a kind of learning mechanism for awareness, allowing different parts to take on the job of keeping us conscious, even if some areas are damaged or missing. This flexibility is part of what scientists call neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to adapt and reorganize itself, usually with think of neuroplasticity as a way for the brain to recover from injuries. But this case takes a new extreme. With 90% of his brain gone, this man's remaining brain tissue has somehow adapted to keep his thinking, behavior and sense of self completely intact. This case invites all of us to think what truly makes us who we are. Is it the physical structure of our brain? Is it the certain parts of the brain or something deeper and more flexible that we do not know yet? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.